everyone and welcome back to my channel October's Dream. Today I am um, unboxing and sort of reviewing the tarot by the Neon Light and this tarot deck is by Chain Assembly, another Kickstarter a campaign that I backed and let's get into it. Um, so I got in this Kickstarter campaign I got the deck of cards and then the optional um, mat. So let me show you the mat and then I'll get into the cards. So this is the mat. It's kind of like a um, mouse pad kind of material. Really thick, really sturdy. I actually really like it. And I haven't had a mat like this one. So and then it has like the little card placements where you can do um, different uh, card layouts when you do readings. So I think I'm going to use this as my mat from now on because it's really thick and, and it's going to be good for when you like shuffle the cards and, you know, instead of that table noise that you normally get. All right, so let's unbox the, uh, the tarot deck right now. So tarot by the neon lights, tarot deck by chain assembly. So on the inside... It says, that seemed like a beautiful prayer. So I looked out the window and began, and my eye fell on the neon Bible below, and I couldn't go on. Then I saw the stars in the heaven, shining like the beautiful prayer, and I began again. And the prayer came out without even thinking, and I offered it up to the stars and the night sky. Now that's from John Kennedy Tool, the neon Bible. And then I got a little sticker. Really cool. And then the guidebook is really simple, really short, really small, with some uh, layouts you could use with the mat. It's kind of cool. Um, and then I, I just kind of wanted to read from the artist, uh, Nick Rivera. Uh, it says, the idea for this deck began with a photo I took of a neon sign in Dallas, Texas. It wasn't a complex sign, but it's Artificial steady glow summoned feelings of nostalgia, mystery, and freedom. Neon is a staple of the American landscape. Each of my projects begins with an overall emotional theme or energy. The feelings I got from the photo from that sign were what drove me to create this deck. For the design, I wanted to ensure the focus of each card remained unobstructed. This is why the cards have no border and fade into darkness. I also decided to forego a typical labeling system and use an icon for the suite and a number for the card. I find that this simplicity makes the impact of each illustration glow like the signs they represent. Um, like I said, it's a really small uh, book, but simple to the point. And in the back is all the uh, people who contributed to the uh, campaign. And my name is in there as well. So that's kind of neat to have a little book with your name in it. Now on to the actual cards. So let me pull these out. So this is the um, back of the card. Kind of like a desert kind of thing. Um, and then on the sides, the edging is a bit of a metallic black, I would say. So let's get into the cards. So first we have the Fool, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, and that is a lion. You can kind of see it as it looks a little something different, but it is a lion. <laughs> uh, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, The Hanged Man, Death, Temperance. The Devil, The Tower, 
one of my favorite cards. Oh, they're a little sticky. Oh, they're sticking together. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And so think of that, whatever you want to think of that. So next, uh, you start going into the cups. So let me show you some of the cups. I'm trying not to get the, the light on there, but it still keeps shining. That was a nice one. And then we go into pentacles. Pretty simple imagery, but the colors are great. The sort of like primary colors. Now these cards, like the queen and the, the page, these are the only ones that have an actual name on it. The rest have numbers. Then we're going to get into, sorry about that. We're going to get into the swords. And then the wands. So one thing I wanted to test um, with this deck, because you know it is neon and everything, which is really cool. I love, like, who doesn't love a neon sign? I like little neon signs. Um, but one thing I wanted to test, and I brought with me to test it, is um, if these would light up with a black light. Because I don't know, they just look like they would. So let me turn off my lights and then turn on The black light. Oops. Hold on. All right. Now we're pitch dark. Oh, and they do. Look at that. So you can still kind of use these under black light. They really glow. You don't really see the colors. It's just the kind of white outline. That's really cool. Look at that. So there's, you know, multi-purposes to this deck. If you want to use it in dark and black light, it completely different effect than um, having the light on. Yeah. Let me see if I can like shine it up a little higher. They're really cool. Again, the uh, description uh, and how to possibly purchase these cards if you're interested. I'll put that in the description box. And if you like my videos, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Till the next time, till the next deck. Thank you. Bye.